as it can be seen easily that we don't want to select the controllers again and again so we need to come up with a system which we can access an animator can access is easily so what is that system so we have to add user data which were we were going to use before before adding we just need to estimate it how much we need like for example banking so in banking we are using only moving in z axis so we need maximum of i think 50 50 banking left and 50 banking right okay so we just come here right click uh, user data and user data and we call it add data or remove it this one add group first okay and delete this and we call it foot controllers foot controls okay this is added now manage user data select this one and add data and we call it banking float slider and we need it like of course we need degree so minus 45 degree and plus 45 degree or minus 50 degree and plus 50 degree so this is if we bank here it moves here this side one side uh, to the left side and we go, it is move to the left side okay and what else we need is uh, we need then toll lift which is going to be this and which is going to be again if you come here and see how much we need it in coordinates it can be maximum like yeah 50 degree okay similarly ball lift 50 degree yeah, 60 degree you can say and dovigal also 60 degree yeah so all up to 60 degrees so let's add other things also so we add an after banking we just duplicate it and we call it ball underscore ball lift and here we def minimum is zero and maximum is 60 okay similarly select this one and call it to lift and then we have to wiggle great banking ball lift to lift to wiggle and then another one to which we call it twist So we'll click and drag, we we'll just add data, float slider, decrease, and here we go minus 90 to 90 degree, and we call it twist, knee twist, key, okay. and where this twist is, actually it is here, so Yeah, I think better we change it to this twist to not 90, 180, 180. Manage user data and we need change twist to minus 180 to 180 degree. Okay, perfect. Now it's matter to attach them. So right click Cinema 4D Expresso. and we bring it here and this is our controller foot 
and then we bring our food controllers which is number one is banking then we have ball lift door lift two vehicle and knee twists all these things we need to connect perfect just put it here on the side and now we need to make sure select right click middle click here and then coordinate freeze all so everything is zero zero perfect so now we need to bring first tow vehicle for example start from the below tow vehicle and see which property we need to see tow vehicle will be actually animating on this x axis which is pitch value so we just come here and hit pitch value and connect this to wiggle to rotation and now we come here and see how this works so it see it's it's working in an inverse direction so we need to reverse it so what it's very simple we just come here new expresso calculate and we add a negate tag negate tag is it will keep the values negative so we just come here select input here and output here so now if we just come here and do it again now it's it's doing it in its right direction okay i think uh, it's, uh, this is fine it's, it's almost extreme or we can increase it little bit like we can make go to manage user manage data and bring our tow wiggle to like uh, 125 yeah it's going to go a little bit extreme okay the next thing we have is knee twist uh, knee twist is very simple so let's do this one knee twist actually being controlled by this IK handle and we just take this twist value and put it here and link it to knee twist okay then we have toe lift so let's see what toe lift we need is we come to the door lift and we need again this pitch value okay and pitch value needs to be in positive yeah this works fine you simply come here and attach this door lift to door lift so now we can see this door lift will work properly perfect so we bring ball lift here and ball lift also have pitch value so select ball lift from here coordinates and take the pitch value and then we just select this to this controllers and check our foot controllers ball lift is working fine it's perfectly working fine okay now banking is little bit not straightforward so we'll see it now first we see the banking to the left so bring it here and banking we needs to be on not this one yes on base value so we bring this base value here okay and then what we'll do is uh, we select our banking to space value and let's see how it works okay perfect towards left is working fine now only it needs to work here so first we need to stop working here on this one so to do the stop it on the negative side we need to add another thing something called range mapper so what we we'll do is right click new expresso general and create uh, i think it's calculate and range mapper so first we just come here and add these two things straight away and let's see does it affect the result 
I think no so let's see it's going into negative value if you come here and see I will hide my mesh for now so I don't want I want this to be going only here in the right direction not in negative it should not affect this one this value here it should affect something else so I need to block this one so one way of blocking is I come here and clamp upper clamp lower yes so now if I will do now it's not affecting it's only affecting on one side when I go to negative it doesn't affect this is what I want okay now I will disconnect this one for now to the left shoe banking and I bring my right shoe banking similarly I need a base value here and directly connects it now let's see what it gives us so if I go to the negative value it's perfectly working fine so now what I need to do I need to stop it in here in positive value so similarly again I create a new calculate range mapper and simply connect connects this one to this one and here I will see now if I move here it's working fine but here I want to stop it see instead of selecting again and again I will just come here and bring it here so I don't have to select again and again the attribute editor keep this here in fact I will close it for a while I don't need express over here I need only this button 1 0 1 zero yes so what I did is simply clamp upper and reverse the values input becomes one input lower becomes one input upper becomes zero input low output lower becomes one and output upper becomes zero so it works on one direction so now simply switch on expresso and also connect this to connect this to this so our rig is done now if I come here this side and go this side okay now I will continue adding bones so I need to add a hip bone so character joint and we call it B and underscore hip and this will be our middle bone somewhat here yeah so what I will do is I will select my left thigh bone and left control foot and then character uh, mirror tools I make sure the direction is positive to negative origin is world and naming is left replace left with right and tools mirror I make a mistake see it changes the name wrongly I need to undo okay select again this and I need to define it mirror tool that only replace underscore left underscore with underscore underscore right tools mirror okay now it takes uh, literally so now if I select my left uh, right foot and check everything is working fine so everything is working fine ball lift is fine and uh, toe lift is fine toe wiggle is fine knee twist is fine everything is working perfectly 